So you sat there and said that if the sergeant said if I come in the perimeter, I'm to be arrested. If you interfere in the perimeter again, yes, you will be arrested. Okay, well what is interfering with the perimeter? Our sergeant told us, so our boss told us, if you interfere in the perimeter, because there is a canine actively searching for a suspect. Right. So, the way the canine works is that it's looking for that scent track, fresh scent track, in the track. Right. So you going in there, you're adding new scent track in the perimeter. Right. But I see people walking, walking around and stuff. People who live down there. Okay. So you're saying people that don't live down there are not allowed to walk down there. Yeah. We don't want them to. We obviously the people in the house. We're telling them if they come out, we're letting them know what's going on. Right. They don't potentially get bit by a dog. Right. So we're we're trying to eliminate other incidents from happening. So, so this would be you'd be an easy variable to take out of the equation, right? Right. Just by saying, hey, Bob, our sergeant told you, please don't go in the perimeter. If you do, we're to arrest you. Well, he didn't tell me that. He told me not to go near the dog. No, I'm telling you, he told us that. Right. On the radio. Okay. But say someone from southeast Portland walked down here and you didn't know if the person was from southeast. But, and the, but and that's the thing. You'd I let him, you, yeah, you'd let them walk down here. I would ask him, I'd say, hey, do you live down there? And then chances are they'd say yes or no. And if they said no, I'd say, is there something immediate that you have to get to down there? Can I escort you to where you need to go? They're not wanderingly, they're not wandering aimlessly around. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. So there, why is there not crime scene tape up then? Because that's what we're here for. Uh-huh. And we're here to let people know. So if I walk down there, then I'll be arrested for interfering with the... Uh, Tell our sergeant. He said if you come in the perimeter again, if you're at the, we already agreed on this the last time I arrested you. Yeah. That you said you wouldn't be there. Right. Well, what, um, so where's the dog? That's the thing. I don't know. It's somewhere down here on 103rd. Okay. Well, we're not gonna Right. I, I walked I walked down to 103rd. I didn't see no dog. He was just right there. Uh -huh. We're not going to answer all your questions. It doesn't matter. What we're just trying to tell you is that you can't go over here right now. That's it. If you do go over here right now, we're going to arrest you. That's, that's what I'm trying to pick a fight with you. Or, uh -huh. That's the kind of house. Gonna, that's what it's going to be right now. And what would be the charge? Whatever the sergeant said. He's the one who put the probable cause out on the radio. I don't know what happened down there between you and him. I don't know what he told you. Yeah, he just said if I could get near the dog. Yeah, but, I, but Bob, I don't know what he told you. Uh -huh. I know you're telling me, but he's my boss. Right. So 